We have another atmospheric river event headed to the Pacific Northwest that's going to be bringing a lot of rain pretty much throughout the entire week. Good morning, I'm Meteorologist Pew. It's November 3rd, 2025. So in terms of today, we really don't have anything going on in terms of severe weather at least. We do have some persistent showers that went through the Great Lakes overnight and is now headed to the northeast. So places like upstate New York may see something around like 1 p.m. Eastern time. And this is going to be traveling mostly to the northern parts of the northeast. So places like Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Maine. You guys are maybe see something around like 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time and this is going to continue traveling northeastward and this is caused by a massive low pressure somewhere around the Ontario Canada area bringing in kind of a cold front and so it's been bringing in a little bit of some cooler air from the north but we've had a lot of warm air come from the south from the states and so with that for today for the majority of the states especially from the plains to the upper midwest to the Great Lakes we're gonna have a little bit of more warmer air but with that because of the huge contrast in temperatures between these areas and where this low pressure is we're gonna have a huge pressure gradient which thus increases the high surface winds so we're gonna have pretty breezy conditions maybe about 10 to 15 mile per hour sustained winds pretty much throughout this entire area and maybe wind gusts up to like 20 miles per hour and we can see this in the upper levels too so if we look at 500 millibars a midway of the troposphere we can see the huge massive jet stream that's going through the Great Lakes region and it's because of that temperature gradient even aloft as well so speaking of jet streams if we look deep in the Pacific we do have a massive trough or upper level low pressure that will be coming through into the Pacific Northwest bringing in that atmospheric river that we've been talking about and atmospheric rivers are just one big plume of of moisture coming through and it's being transported by this jet stream that we see in the Pacific. So even in this moment there is a sliver of it hitting the Pacific Northwest around the northern California coast and Oregon and it's bringing some showers this morning and we may see a continuation of these showers around 1 p.m Pacific time but especially for northern California. And so right now it's kind of a tease but once this rain starts around 1 p.m Pacific time it's going to be pretty continuous and then eventually get more and more heavier throughout the night and into next morning. And so for today, tonight, tomorrow we're going to see majority of this rain hit northern California and then eventually for tomorrow we're gonna see it hit Oregon and Washington and this atmospheric river event is pretty much gonna occur for the next four days and so with that being said the weather prediction center did issue a marginal risk for flash flooding pretty much throughout this week as well rainfall totals for the next few days places like northern California could see upwards of greater than five inches of rainfall